Hi everyone. Today's video is all about the Open Vario and how we can backup, restore and also update directly from the device without having to plug it into another computer or take the whole device out and plug it into a laptop or take it home. Okay, my instrument panel is at home, um, but the concept is still the same. Um, so those of you who have an open vary, I don't know whether you've come across this issue and please put comments below if you know how to solve this problem. But because it runs off a Linux um, operating system, being able to get a USB Wi-Fi dongle to actually work um, using the command lines and everything, I just can't get it working. I just don't know how to do it. I've bought three or four uh, from Amazon that fully support it, no drivers needed or automatically recognised as part of the Linux operating system, plug them in and they just don't work. So I had some thinking and I've come up with a solution. So what we have is, I'll put a link in the description below, but this little box, Vonets, um, is, is basically, it's a um, portable uh, Wi-Fi uh, adapter. So what it is, it's basically designed for items that don't have Wi-Fi. They just have a network cable, but they then become Wi-Fi on here. Now, plugging this, because the Open Vario does actually have a um, RJ45 network connector, then plugging this in and telling this. So you plug this into your laptop or your home PC to start with, and you basically teach it what networks you will let it, Wi-Fi networks you're going to let it connect to and give it all the credentials. So I've just done my phone, but it does work, over, I think it's up to five that you can put in there. Um, I didn't want it to confuse with the home network, so I've just purely put in my phone, um, paired phone, because the benefit then is that my paired phone will have a signal at the airfield, wherever I am, and I can do the update. So the plan is that we need to run some power. So as if by magic, I have a power bank, which I have ready to power the GoPro anyway. So we plug that in, uh, and then we basically plug this into the top. Now, for those of you who have the open variable, I'm just gonna show you one here, but in, in here, there is always one at the top, and that is the connector that you use. There are some other ones, but they're for data only. So you'll see at the moment, I've got a keyboard down here, and the keyboard is basically just where the, uh, normally where the joystick will go. So all we do is we plug that in and we just need to run some power. So I'm gonna run it through the power. Now again, I did try, um, so we'll just let that uh, do its biz and uh, sit there and work. So what we've got is that's now going to try and pair with my phone. Um, we've got the, the blue signal means we've got power and in a second it's going to flash blue and then hopefully we're going to get a green. So we're flashing blue which now means it's searching for a network and then it'll go flashing green and then solid green once we know it's fully connected. But whilst it's doing that we don't need to uh, do anything yet on that front. In fact I'll just, uh, just twist that round a bit so you guys can see it. So what we do now is so I've got a, a battery uh, just plugged into my instrument panel so we'll power on the, uh, the whole uh, system and now we're going to power on this so let the open vario boot up I will now press a key in a second so we go into the menu into there because it'll boot up after five seconds and you see now it's flashing and it looks like it's got it so what I will do is just off camera I can just check that my phone has actually uh, paired up with it and gone onto the personal hotspot. I believe it has at that point because it's solid, solid green. So that should be all okay. So what we can do now is uh, we will connect in in a second, but what I'll show you first of all is, is this environment. So again, I'll put a link down below, but freevario.de have their own open Vario for the, um, the whole environment as an image. So you can just use a piece of software free that you uh, put the whole image down onto the network, uh, onto the um, SD card. Now, what will happen is this will fire up, it'll go through a few settings, so which screen orientation you want to and things like this, but it gets you to this screen. And this screen then, I'm using the keyboard, but you'd use the up and down, or if you've got the rotary knobs, however you wanted to do it. But we go into this and we've got some applications and we've got settings. So the first thing we do is we go into settings. So this is where the initial setup will take you into setting up the uh, screen rotation, brightness, what language you want, which defaults to English. Uh, and then you've got the auto um, 
uh, start timeout, which uh, it will say blank and it will say main menu in there, but we can actually choose. So after five seconds, I just wanted to start X Seesaw. So if I turn it on and forget to do something, it will just fire up X Seesaw and go straight in. But you can have a mixture of things. So escape back out onto that one. What we've also got is in the applications. This is nice in here. So it comes with X Seesaw, the latest build uh, on there. You can also have Compman, so competition management. So I'll show you that in a second. Uh, we can download the flight logs to a USB storage um, and obviously upload to USB storage, but also this is the backup here, copy files to and from a USB stick. Now, the first time you'll set this up, you can set up all of your preferences how you want to. And what I would suggest you do is get it all set up nicely on your Open Vario. But at this point, when you go into backup, now at the moment I don't have a USB in there, but once we insert the USB stick into there, it's going to ask me whether I want to back up or restore. So the first thing is we're going to back up. So as long as it's a blank uh, FAT32 or FAT um, formatted USB storage drive in there, and I've just got one and I've just called it Open Vario, it's labeled, it's a dedicated one, and we just plug that one straight in. What will happen is it will write the file structure of all of the folders and everything which has got anything really that changes. So your, your profile or profiles, if you create multiple profiles, all the system settings, any files that you've uploaded, so any um, turn points, airspace, anything like that will all be copied from the device onto the USB. Now here's the great thing is let it do that so you've backed everything up onto there. When you open this on your PC, there's a folder called Backup, and then you've got XSaw, Compman, go into XSaw, and in there, that's now the default location of XSaw with any subfolders in it. And in there, you'll see the profile, you'll see default task, you'll see default waypoints, and all of that lot. And what you can do then is you can load onto the USB stick turns turn points airspace anything like that onto that device and when we go to restore it will only copy over any files that are newer or don't exist on the open vario that are on the usb and transfer them over so the benefit now is you could if you wanted to copy a profile and do a second profile if you wanted to or edit something and i've got airspace and turn points put them all onto there and then move them across and then you've you've, you've cooking on gas really at that point so that's a really really useful um, feature for the backup what that also does as well is once we back this up if I then get another image uh, for the newer version of uh, XE saw uh, and anything on it I can put the plain vanilla system into it set the screen orientation right go straight into backup and restore plug my drive back in again restore and all of the settings, including how it talks to everything, all of my profiles, all of the turn points, the waypoints, the uh, airspace, everything, including all of the settings and referencing them within the Open Vario XE saw, will all be set up. It is literally a 30 second job and you're off. So that really is a game changer to have all of your settings on an Open Vario USB stick. That is absolutely brilliant. And that's what I'd say moving forwards. So we go into the networking. And we see now that we've got a wired connection. There's a wired connection there. It's state is ready. It's all fine to actually work. So now what we can do is we can do things in here that says check for system updates. And the system's now going to go away onto the internet and actually start looking to see if there are any updates available. Now I've only just applied the very latest update, so there may not be any on here. But you can see it's going to these websites. No updates found. But you can then just apply updates if you want to. Now to prove that this is working, and we go into the competition manager, and this is a game changer. So now we go into that, we set up a competition. What the system's going to do now is it's actually gone to the internet straight away and it's actually found all of the current uh, competitions on Soaring Spot. And this is where we can now sit there and say, okay, maybe we want uh, that one there. Doesn't really matter which one. Let's do the, let's do the Australian. So we go into that one, select this competition, and straight away it's come up, and I'm choosing the up and down. So what class are you in? We're in the 15 meter. In here, this is the airspace file. This is the waypoint file. And then because I've got three profiles, I've got my normal open vario, which is just sort of bumbling around the sky. I've got competition as a standard competition, and then I've got a separate setup for the uh, 
AAT assigned area tasks because I have different nav boxes down if I'm flying an AAT task and different settings in the system as well that I use. So I just choose exactly which files I want to on that one. If I was flying in that, I would select both of those, maybe competition, click on activate, and automatically now it's copied the airspace, the waypoint files over, it's updated the competition profile to reference both of those files as part of the uh, as part of the one now at the moment there's no task in there it says there no no task for today but again you would highlight the task and it would automatically put upload the task and then link the task and make that the current task on your open vario it's brilliant so it takes all the stress away from uh, from doing anything you want to in there so that really is 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 how the uh, the networking works and and this is what i wanted to do straight off but I was never able to get the Wi-Fi working. But as you can see now, the Wi-Fi is working fine. I can connect uh, and do anything that I want to. So really, I just wanted to share that with you. What I'm going to do is put some links down below. First of all, for the um, for the Vario Open Vario um, image file and how you uh, how you do all of that. And then, as I say, set everything up how you want to on the system and then back up everything. And as soon as you back it up, it creates the folder structure onto the USB. So you'll be able to see perfectly clear exactly where the default profile has gone, the default task, the default waypoint. And then all you do is you upload into that root folder on the XC saw where you can see them all. Uh, so it'll be backup XC saw. And then in that folder, put all of the files that you want to put them in there, click on restore straight then into open vario and as soon as you're into open uh, into xc saw rather then that will have then loaded up so this is xc saw i've got multiple profiles so it's asking me which profile to go into it's now loaded up everything on there if i go into my settings you'll see in here system setup if i go to site files you can see there i've got the uk high res map database i've got the bga 22 turn points and I've got the Feb 2022 airspace and also FLAM as well. I've got the latest FLAM that I downloaded and copied. So those text corp files, um, XCM if you wanted to, again, it does come with some already, but you could go in and actually download them now off this because it can read it. And then the FLAM database and everything is was all onto the USB. And as soon as I then selected and went to browse for them, because it had copied them onto the folder, it then showed those files in there and I could just access them. And then I'm away. So that really is is how you set up um, XC saw. But the benefit is is you can transfer tasks, you can download and upload um, your IGC files. Now again, I'd only run that whilst I'm on the ground. Maybe if I'm updating a task or if I'm doing an update periodically. Um, so I'm not going to be permanently in the glider. It's just unclips from there, and the uh, the portable drive just. Uh, just goes away in the pocket to be fair as i said before i power that onto the uh, gopro if i'm filming and uh, and that's it so i just want to share that with you um hopefully you found it useful i know quite a few people have asked me this question so i, I did promise to uh, to do a, a video on it sorry it's taken a while to do it there's a few people at the bga conference which was back in end of january early february uh, and we're into april now so sorry guys um, but I've just had a bit on at the moment, but uh, now we're getting to the flying season and in fairness I'm going to go flying tomorrow So uh, the panels going back into the glider So I thought I'd be able to show you today exactly what it's all about whilst it's disconnected uh, But again more than happy to re-record or do anything specific But hopefully you found it a benefit if you haven't subscribed already uh, Please consider doing that and if you did like the video hit the like um, because it does help apparently on the uh, on the old optimization so uh, Anything really to help would be much appreciated. Hopefully you enjoyed it and happy flying.